This bike right here is Mark Cavendish's custom painted Cervelo S5. So where else to start but the paint job on this bike? It is an incredibly limited edition. There are only two of these in existence in the world. One's here and one is over at the Dimension Data Team Mechanics truck. The paint apparently weighs between 10 and 20 grams. And looking at this, it looks like it's 200, 300 gram paint job. It is that stunning, but no, 10 or 20 grams. It was painted at Silverstone, so one of the major motor racing circuits in the UK. So it's safe to presume that there's some sort of Formula One next level technology included in it. But it's actually so thin that there are certain points where underneath the glossy green lacquer, you can see the carbon weave on the Cervelo frame kind of shining through. I think it's absolutely stunning. Let us know your thoughts down in the comments, but keep watching. Also on the top tube is Cavendish's personal logo. For the build of the bike, let's start at the very top where Cavendish is using a Physique Arioni saddle. That does not have carbon fiber rails, it has metal rails in this case. That sits on a Cervelo seat post. I really like the shape of that actually. And on the Cervelo seat post, you can see there's some insulating tape right at the top. And that is where the Dura-Ace DI2 wire comes out before it links up to the junction box, which is installed by a zip tie to the back of one of the saddle rails. That is more likely a practicality point for the mechanics. So what it means is that it's actually very easy for them to access if they want to adjust gears or charge the battery or anything like that. Forward from the saddle, we get to the MV stem and that is 130 millimeters long. And the MV bars, although they look like your normal MV handlebars, are actually super custom. So generally MV handlebars flare out by around eight degrees. These ones have got no flare. So the drop of the handlebar is directly in line with the lever hood, which is apparently better for sprinting and is another one-off made just for Cav at his request. Attached to the bars are the latest Shimano Dura-Ace DI2 STI levers, and also there is a sprint shifter, and that is actually right at the front of the handlebars, which is not something you see very often, but to me it kind of makes sense. It's intuitive. It means that when you're sprinting on the drops, you can just grab it like that and change gear. The shifters are linked up to, of course, Shimano Dura-Ace DI2 front and rear mechs, but the drivetrain isn't entirely Dura-Ace. There is a gold KMC chain, and the cassette is an Ultegra one, and that's 11 through to 28. The chain set is one of the oldest style of Dura-Ace. That has an SRM power meter on it, and the chain rings that Cav is using, 39 inner and a 54 outer. So that is for the higher top speeds that he's gonna get in those sprint finishes. Matching the shifters, Cav uses Dura-Ace pedals, and he also has Dura-Ace brakes front and rear, and they are not the direct mount versions. Like the bars and stem, Envy supply the wheels for Team Dimension data, and Cav has got the full range of wheel depths at his disposal. These wheels are particularly interesting though, because the hubs are green. I think that's very cool. It matches in with the color of the frame, but they're Chris King and they're marked up as prototype. I don't know what is a particular prototype about the hubs, but it's always cool to see prototype kit. The tires that Cav has on these wheels are Continental Competition ALX Pro Limited. They're 25 millimeters in width, and they are the version of the ALX Pro Limited that does not have the slick center section, so it's fully file tread all the way around. Bottle cages are supplied by Tax, as are the bottles. With the main points of the build covered, let's now look at the finishing touches. Up at the front, the mechanics have used heat shrink wrap to keep the Dura-Ace DI2 cable in kind of attached to the brake cable, which means that in the event of a crash, it's not gonna to get too badly damaged or anything like that. On the valves, they've actually used tiny little bits of black electrical tape just to keep those from rattling because that is a really annoying rattling noise if it does happen. With all that covered, it's time for some vital statistics. The stats are in. Cavs cranks are 170 millimeters long and they spin 39.54 chain rings. His cassette is an 11 through to 28. His saddle height comes in about 69 centimeters and his reach is around 53 centimeters. The reach is aided by this 13 centimeter NV stem and his custom flare NV handlebars measure 42 centimeters center to center. The tire widths are stamped as 25 millimeters, but by our calipers, they come in at 24.89 and 25.01. So we'll give them that. The weight of the bike, the one you've all been waiting for, is about 7.3 kilograms. Well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at Cav's custom painted Cervelo S5 as much as I have. Personally speaking, I think this is one of the coolest custom painted bikes I've ever seen. Let us know your thoughts though down in the comments. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it too. To see more videos from the 2017 Tour de France, click right there. To subscribe to GCN, click on our logo, which is on screen now. There's also a link to our shop on screen right there. And to see another of Cav's Pro Bikes, just click there.